Good morning, welcome back to the channel. I wasn't actually going to do a YouTube video today, but I couldn't resist because about three days ago, I got a message on Instagram. Someone very kindly gave me a heads up that in Braintree, UK, in January 2021, so just about three months ago, the UK's, possibly even, as it says on the website, the world's first electric charging forecourt has opened up in Braintree, Essex, just outside of London. And it's just way, way too interesting an opportunity to not film. And I did a Google search of this. 36, 36 charging stations, solar powered, so completely green. And it's got a proper lounge forecourt where you've got Costa Coffee, different shops. It looks absolutely state of the art and super cheap electricity as well because it's powered by solar so this this genuinely looks like a viable future and i am so so excited it's about 40 miles away so i have to have a proper charge of electricity and on such a stunning day i am beyond excited Okay, here we go. So what you've got, entrance just over here and you drive in and you've got the 90 kilowatt chargers on the edges. And then in the middle section, you've got the 350 kilowatt chargers, loads of banks. You've got the live wire there, which has already had a huge amount of interest. People coming over asking for photos because it's the first one they've seen charging here. And then over here, here you've got the the lounge area, get, get a coffee, have something to eat, and a nice little outside seating lounge area as well. But it's a beautiful setup. This whole area looks brand new, brilliantly done, brilliantly set up, super easy to use, no debit card required, no sign up needed, you just come along. I just tapped my phone, 45 minutes I think it said to charge up, but it couldn't be more seamless. This is absolutely superb. So we're gonna go in, grab a coffee, and just have a look around. And a beautiful seating area here with a few more chargers, charger bays just here. And then I've just seen in the corner, brand new, they haven't even opened up yet, a bank there of Tesla chargers as well. Get your air and water there. All of these on the roof here, all of these, that solar panels across every bank here. 
What a place. Amazing. So this is GridServe Braintree Electric Forecourt, uh, which is the fir world's first electric forecourt. Uh, we have a variety of charges on site of varying capabilities and power. Um, the idea of the place is to provide simple, easy to use charging for everyone basically in electric vehicles. We cater for all types, so we have all types of connectors, everyone's welcome. Then we have a wonderful lounge area up here that is available to use at all times, completely free of use for everyone. Doesn't matter if you're driving an electric vehicle or not, we want everyone to come and enjoy the space, learn about electric vehicles, learn about the environment. Uh, GridServe's whole mentality and our message is we want to move the needle on climate change and hashtag deliver sustainable energy. So, yeah. And this whole site, it's completely carbon neutral? Yeah, well, so we're carbon net zero on site. Uh, we have solar power, solar panels out on the canopy and on the roof that power the building. And then all of our chargers are supplied by the grid. Uh, their power is supplied by the grid. And then it's netted off by a giant solar farm about 40 miles away in Clayhill that nets off any power that we use. And you don't need any subscription. You just turn up with your card, tap away, done. Yeah, it's nice and simple. Just plug your car in, tap your card, and that's all you have to do. Thank you so much. No problem, that's all right. So we've just spent the past 15 minutes chatting to the guys upstairs who oversee this operation. Their enthusiasm for the place is infectious and we managed to get them on camera just for a minute to chat about what this place represents. And it's the first time in six years riding the Harley Livewire that electric motorcycles and the infrastructure combine to make absolute sense. It doesn't work having one broken charger in the corner of a Tesco car park. This, this 100% works. And it's their ethos that's so infectious because they truly believe in this green revolution. So it's a net carbon zero location here with the solar farms just 40 miles off grid and all of these that power this exact location. The water for their bathrooms, it's all rainwater you can get detergents and things like that without any of the plastic packaging. There's a choice of vegan food, everything, as well as all of the plants that they're planting here. Everything is super, super green. They're planning to open a hundred more of these within the next five years. And it's the first time, the very first time that I can see the future working brilliantly for electric. I said it in the last video and then I backtracked because of the infrastructure, but now I mean it. If this is the future for electric, then sign me up because this is 
a game-changing place and they did confirm with me this is a world's first electric forecourt and if, if this if this is what we're going to be seeing a lot more of in the UK with this destination type filling centre where you can rent out a meeting room for £16, you can grab a coffee, you can get a magazine, chill outside in this beautifully landscaped little area, it's just such a nice place to come. I'm hugely, hugely impressed. you enjoyed seeing the the world's first electric forecourt but before I get back I'll show the gear for the day next XG 100 helmet jacket this is a Frank Thomas jacket and this is a fairly budget jacket one of my first ever's but I still love it just classic retro style jeans first time I've worn these I think on the videos this is a Lithuanian company called Pando Moto these are the boss black nines really like these jeans and then the boots from a Polish company called Broga and I love these I've only recently got them but they're great no nonsense boots no fancy materials just really nice classically designed zip on the inside brilliant value about a hundred and 50 pounds for those. I'm a huge Broga Moto fan just because it's great styling at brilliant prices. And then some of the coolest gloves I own. These are a German company called Throttle Snake. Forget about any type of padding, they've got none of it. So they're not going to get any safety awards, but they look so damn cool. And that's it for today's video. I hope you found it as interesting as I did because I found it so eye-opening to get that proper glimpse into the future. But please do subscribe to the channel, give the video a like if you liked it, and I'm going to go motorways and just enjoy this beautiful day on the live wire. <laughs>